What's up everyone? I figured that today I would do a recap of the greatest lifts ranked by Sinclair from the Asian Championships, from the men and from the women. Now, we did so much coverage of this championships at Weightlifting House. We did highlights, we did full commentary, we did results, we did full recaps on the website every single day. So forgive me for not going into full depth on every single session. I figured this would be a better way to do it. And you can find out whatever else you'd want at weightliftinghouse.com anyway. So I'm going to go through the top 10, going from the women to the men, alternating back and forth. Also, if you think you know who's going to be at number one on the women's and the men's side, then comment it down below. Don't just skip forward and check. That's definitely cheating. Uh, if you get it right, I'll be semi-impressed with your knowledge, but not that impressed. Also, if you don't know what Sinclair points are, well, the Sinclair coefficient is just a way that we can work out who is the best weightlifter in the world, basically regardless of weight category. It doesn't allow you to compare men and women in the same way that Roby points do, but it allows you to compare any male lifter with any other male lifter, regardless of weight category, and any female lifter with any female weightlifter, regardless of category. Also, very quickly, coaches only is the greatest thing that's ever happened for weightlifting coaches, and it is back June 5th to 6th. Tickets are discounted until the end of the month, so you've got just a couple of days left. There's a link down below if you want to pick one up, and you can learn from Greg Everett, Will Fleming, Ursula Papandrea, Max Ata, Cyril Martin, Fernando Reis, Dr. Mel Davis, and Bob Ticano. Okay, let's kick off with the top 10. I'm going to chuck in a couple of bonus athletes who didn't quite make this, but I figured they really ought to. So on the women's side, I just want to shout out who would have been at number 12, Kang Yue, one of the greatest female weightlifters of all time. Now, when I look at our database of all the information that we have on weightlifting, and I look at the greatest Sinclairs ever by women, I can see that Kang Yue sits at number 8 for her performance all the way back in... 2014 in Incheon where as a 75 kilo weightlifter she went 131 160. At this competition she weighed in significantly heavier she was an 87 kilo weightlifter she went 118 155 273 kilo total 304.77 Sinclair points not quite a top 10 and certainly not a top 10 of all time like she once used to be but her fight at 155 on a second and third attempt was the most impressive fight I saw from the entire month of Continental Championships by some way just a level of courage that is unparalleled seemingly in the world of weightlifting right now so shout out to her. Then at number 11 also from the women's side we have Nabieva Muattar from Uzbekistan. She, the 55 kilo weightlifter went 99-114, 305 Sinclair points. And number 11 on the men's side was the 96 kilo world champion Tian Tao from China. He went 175, 211, 434.72. Okay, let's get into the actual top 10. At number 10 on the women's side from China, and bear in mind there are a lot of Chinese weightlifters in this top 10. In fact, all but two of the top 10 female weightlifters from the Asian Championships were Chinese. At number 10, we have Luo Jiao Man, 59 kilo weightlifter. She went 102. 125, 227 kilo total for a 310.04 Sinclair. At number 10 on the men's side, and probably you'll be surprised to see him so low. In fact, I think before this competition, I would have predicted him maybe as even a top five weightlifter by Sinclair. We have Mezzo Hasona, who competed as a 102 kilo weightlifter. He went 174, 222 for 396 kilos in the total. He did attempt a 232 kilo world record for that new 102 kilo category, but slippy floor, his, his shoes slipped on his second and third attempts, so he's only able to make his opener. That gave him 435.98 Roby points. And number nine on the women's side in the 76 kilo weight class from China, we have Zhang Wang Li. She went 115 in the snatch, 148 in the clean and jerk. That's a 263 kilo total. And so that gives her 311.31 Sinclair. At number nine on the men's side, we have an Iranian, and it's not the Iranian that you expect. In fact, the one or two Iranians that you might expect ended up coming in at 12th and 13th. It's not Sarab Muradi, it's not Kianush Mastani, but it is Razul Motamedi. He actually won that 102 kilo weight class, beating Mezzo Hasona. So he went 173, 227, an enormous 500 pound clean and jerk. That gave him a 400 kilo total, which is just such a great total to finally hit. Uh, and he is still young, so I'm sure he's going to surpass that at some point. So Razul Motamedi ended up with a 400 kilo total that is 440.39. 
Sinclair points. Now, as a quick reminder, and I should have probably explained this sooner, in terms of the greatest Sinclair of all time, 500 by Naeem Suleiman Nolu. In fact, some of the weightlifters that we've already mentioned on this are actually in this book, but they just didn't perform particularly well at this competition, but they have made the top 70 weightlifters Sinclair-wise of all time. For example, Tian Tao in at number 59 of all time, a Sinclair of 469.37, which had he done that at this competition, he would have been number one in the Asian Championships by Sinclair. Back in 2016, he went 178, 217, 395 total at 84.85 kilos in body weight. Then the other two weightlifters that we mentioned who didn't even make the top 10 this time from Iran, we have Kino Tristami. Now, Kino has the 44th highest Sinclair of all time. He went 179, 217, 396 kilos. That's one kilo more than Tian Tao hit, who made this, who I just mentioned, same competition. And then just ahead of him at number 39 is my boy, Big Uncle Sarab. In 2017, Weighing 94.00 kilos, he went 184, 233 for a 417 kilo total. That's 473.62 Roby points. Let's crack on with the current list of the top 10. So in number 8 from the women's side, from China, Li Yanzhen, 55 kilo weightlifter. She went 101, 120, that's a 221 kilo total, 316.5 Roby points. At number eight on the men's side, we have also from China, the 109 kilo Yang Zhe. Now, Yang Zhe would have actually been higher up on this lift had they not called him for a press out on his second attempt at 222 kilos. I thought that was an awful call from the judges. I think we genuinely ought to abolish the press out rule. In fact, we're going to be starting a campaign at Weightlifting House to get rid of the press out rule, so stay tuned for that. But Yang Zhe managed to snatch a world record 200 kilos. That's a kilo over... Martyrosian's world record of 199. Famously, Yang Zhe hit 197 back in Thailand at the 2019 World Championships. It was then beaten by Romna at 98, Martyrosian at 99, and finally he reclaims it at 200. He then hit 215, which is one of the closest ratios of snatch to clean jerk ever. In fact, Yang Zhe snatched 93% of his clean and jerk. That's more of a Ribikov than Ribikov. So a 415 kilo total, should have been 422, but it is what it is, uh, gave him a Sinclair of 446.92. In at number seven on the women's side, we have 55 kilo Liao Qi Yun. She went 98, 124, 222 kilos in the total. Absolutely phenomenal lifting, particularly in the split jerk. Her positioning is just extraordinary. She got from that 222 kilo total, 317.93 on the Sinclair. At number seven on the men's side and a lifter you might expect normally to see slightly higher up but he did somewhat underperform in fact I think he went three for six. We have 61 kilo snatch and total world record holder Li Fei Bin. In fact I was told on the live stream for the commentary it's actually Li Fa Bin so Li Fa Bin. He went 142, 170 that's the 312 kilo total at 61 kilos in body weight, gave him a Sinclair of 449.32. Back to the women's side at number six from China, we have Wang Zhu Yu, the 87 kilo weightlifter. We watched her compete yesterday. She has one of the most extraordinary pulls. She is very much the Shi Yong of the women's side, or perhaps Shi Yong is the Wang Zhu Yu of the men's side. She just has this ridiculously high pull, fixates the bar and the snatch and the clean, uh, way above the bottom position, then just rides it down. She went 126, 160, 286, enormous total. That gave her 319.28 as a Sinclair. And then number six from the men's side, again from China. This is just a China top 10 lifts, really, isn't it? Um, we have Huang Min Hao, the 67 kilo snatch world record holder. Now he went 155 in the snatch, that equals his snatch world record. 177 on the clean and jerk, that's actually 11 kilos under the world record, but that gave him a 332 kilo total. His squat jerk is actually quite refreshing to see, one of the sturdiest, most consistent looking squat jerks out there. That 332 kilo total as a 67 kilo weightlifter gave him a Sinclair of 449.43. Okay, time now to enter the top fives 
on both sides. In fact, let's just take a minute here just to mention, guys, if you want more of this style of video and extra reaction videos and all that sort of thing, programming, podcasts, head over to the Weightlifting House Patreon. Link is somewhere down below if you want to check it out. And for the price of a mocha frappuccino latte every month, you get access to absolutely everything that comes out behind the scenes. Okay, so at number five, quite refreshingly, we now have a lifter who isn't Chinese from India, the 49 kilo Chanu Mirabai. Now, Chanu actually snatched way down uh, compared to the people that she went up against in this category. In fact, the winning snatch in this category was 96 kilos for a world record. Uh, she hit 86 kilos, but then she came back and hit 119 kilos for a world record in the clean and jerk, 205 kilos in the total. That's 319 0.73 as a Sinclair. In fact, let's just stick with the women's side because the next two were in the same 49 kilo category. So we just had a number five, Chanu Marabai from India, and number four, who placed second in the 49s, we have Jiang Hui Hua from China. She went 89-118, also a world record, beating her own world record to get that, which was then beaten by Chanu Mirabai. Uh, 207 kilos in the total, that is, as a Sinclair, 322.85. Then in at number three overall, but one in that weight class, we have Hu Zi Hui. She is the world record holder in the snatch. She just extended that world record at this competition with 96 kilos. She then clean and jerked 117 kilos. She won dominantly with a 213 kilo total. That gives her 332.32, or 0.2 in fact, Sinclair. Okay, we just did 543 on the women's side. Let's do 543 on the men's side before we do the top two on either. At number five from China on the men's side, it is Chen Li Zhen. So back in 2015, as a 62 kilo weightlifter, Chen Li Zhen went 150, 183. That gave him the 35th highest Sinclair of all time. He's also the third highest Chinese male Sinclair ever behind Lu Zhao Zhen and one other. If you know it, put it down below. And if you have the book, no cheating. At this competition, however, Chen Li Zhen was a 67 kilo weightlifter. Of course, he moved up when the weight categories changed. He went 153, 180, 333 kilos in the total for a Sinclair of 450.78. Now, this is actually a great performance for Chen Li Zhen, a 6 for 6. And what it did was it put him in a really strong position to allow Team China to select him as one of their four male weightlifters for Tokyo. I'll do another video probably next week breaking down Team China and who I think they're going to send to Tokyo. At number four from the men's side, 81 kilo Lu Zhao Zhen. In 2013, Lu Zhao Zhen weighing 76.4 kilos snatched 176 and he clean and jerked 204 kilos for a 380 kilo total. That gave him a Sinclair of 476.31. Puts him at number 30 all time. But at this competition, he didn't quite lift those numbers, but he did lift pretty damn well. He set a new world record in the snatch, which was then later beaten by Li Dayin by a kilo. Lu Zhang Zhen hit 174. That was a kilo over the 2018 world record set by Mohamed Ihab. And then Li Dayin, who didn't get a total, so he's not on this list, but deserves recognition, hit 175. Coupled along with that 174 kilo snatch, Lou hit a 199 kilo clean and jerk, which is actually the least amount he's ever clean and jerked internationally for his final sort of made lift, not including the times that he has bombed out. So that's kind of interesting, but that gave him a 373 kilo total and a Sinclair of 453.42. And then finally, before we go back to the women at number three, and this is just remarkable. I can't believe how incredibly exciting this competition was. The um, the highlights of it are obviously on the Weightlifting House channel if you want to check them out. At 109 kilos from Uzbekistan, we have Akbar Jiraev. Now, Akbar Jiraev, I think, is still only 21 years old. He's a junior world record holder, and his training has just been outstanding. I'm doing everything I can to try and get myself into the Uzbek training hall so I can spend a bit of time there filming for, well, for all of us so we can find out what it is that they're doing over there. Uh, Akbar Drive went 194 in the snatch and he almost made 197, which would have moved him up in this list, probably to, well, yeah, definitely to number two, in fact. He snatched 194, he cleaned up 234 kilos. That's a 428 kilo total and a Sinclair of 460.92. 
he is going to be the 109 who qualifies for the Olympics. That's from Uzbekistan, Razan Rodinov. Obviously, he was popped, and so he wasn't able to complete the the proper uh, qualification period process. So we're going to see Akbar drive there, and he is actually my pick now for the gold medal over Simon Martirosian. Also, lots of news has just come out regarding Simon Martirosian, which I'll go through on the next episode of the Weightlifting House News Show. Okay, so over now to the top two weightlifters. Starting with the women, in at number two, we have the heaviest weightlifter out there, Li Wen Wen. Now, Li Wen Wen is now 21 years old. She just turned 21 back in March, but she set her previous world records at 19. Now, her first opportunity back, she beat absolutely every single one of them, and she made them look like a piece of cake. Li Wen Wen snatched a world record 148 kilos. She cleaned up 187 kilos for a world record a new world record total of 335 kilos. I think she has the easiest win at the entire Olympic Games. I don't think there's anyone who's going to be able to get close to her. All the other good Chinese supers won't be able to go. Tatiana Kashrina isn't going to be able to go. The North Korean isn't going to be able to go. No one is going to be within maybe 50 kilos of her in the total. And so I think she's definitely going to be one of China's picks. That total of 335 kilos, and bear in mind she weighed around 100 and. I think it was 49 kilos at this competition, gave her a Sinclair of 335.16. At number two on the men's side, and just pipping number three on the men's side by a kilo in the total, the teammate of Drive Akbar, the Uzbek, the 2016 Olympic champion, Ruslan Nuridinov. Now, Ruslan went 188 in the snatch. He pressed it out on his second attempt. They gave it on his third. He could have made more, but he didn't. And then in the clean and jerk, he set a new world record. Just the most insane lift. Simon Motorosian lost his snatch and clean and jerk world record that day, but held onto it in the total. That gave Ruslan a 429 kilo total and a Sinclair of 461.99. But Ruslan does also feature in here. In 2014 at the World Championships in Almaty, weighing 104.78. Nuridinov went 193 in the snatch, 239 in the clean and jerk, a 432 kilo total. That gave him a Sinclair back then of 471.22. That puts him at number 49 of all time. Okay, we're back to the number ones. In number one, not from China, but from Taiwan, we have Kuo Sing Chen. Now, the 59 kilo world record holder, multiple time world champion, snatched 110 kilos, a truly gutsy attempt. She equaled the world record on a second attempt at 107 and then jumped all the way to 110, which was strange, but just one of the most badass moves I've ever seen in weightlifting. Now, I'm going to be honest, it was a press out. I think we should abolish the press out. I think it should count, and it did count, but it shouldn't have counted based on the current rules abolish the press out and then we won't have any of this subjectiveness murking the waters and removing medals from people who should have had them and giving them to people who perhaps shouldn't have. But Kuo Sing Chun hit 110 in the snatch, 137 in the clean and jerk, gave her another world record in the total at 247 kilos and a Sinclair of 337.35. Now if we look at the top female Sinclairs of all time, Kuo Sing Chun is actually in there quite high at number 14. Back as a 58 kilo weightlifter in 2019, she went 107, 142 for a 344 Sinclair. If we were to put this performance at 337 into the all time rankings, Kuo Sung Chin would come in at number 32, pushing down Rim Jong Sim from North Korea, whose performance at Houston of 125, 155 gave her a Sinclair of 336. And now moving over to the men's side, someone whose performance is have not yet allowed him to actually reach the top 70 of all time, but he certainly will do one day, I'm sure. We have 73 kilo Shi Ziyong. Despite not being in his greatest health or shape, Shi Ziyong turned up to this competition and he snatched a world record 169 kilos. He then went up and clean and jerked 194 kilos on his second attempt before actually putting in to take 201 on his third attempt just trolling everyone out in the crowd for a minute before saying, no, I'm not really going for it. And I don't think he actually had any intention of doing it. I think he just wanted to get people excited and uh, troll the crowd. But anyway, 363 kilos in the total for Shi Young gave him the lead 
the win by a total of five Sinclair points over Rosalind Ridinov, 466.71. So there you have it. Those were the greatest performances from the Asian Championships. Let me know what your favorite lift was down below and obviously if you guessed it right. And don't forget, coaches only, June 5th to 6th, discounted prices until the end of the month. It is the greatest thing to ever happen for weightlifting coaches. I'll catch you all next time.